Well, hello, boys and girls. It's your favourite grumpy granny from Groby's Batch. And here I am in my black and white, and I've got my little headpiece on, all ready for the big horse race today in Australia. So for those of you that don't know, in Australia today, it's the Melbourne Cup, which they call the horse race that stops the nation. So everyone stops and has a bet or watches it on TV. So there you go. All right. What's my little nugget today? It is explaining to you what return on investment means, or ROI, which is a term you might often hear. And I know for Grumpy Granny, it took her a while before I found out what it meant when I first started reselling. So I thought some of you boys and girls might not know what it means either. In the simplest terms, let's say you lend a dollar to someone. Then they give you back that dollar plus 50 cents. Your return on investment is 50 cents. Now, usually when we're doing that in figures, we like to put that in a percentage calculation just to make it easier. So how do we do that? You actually subtract the cost you paid from the amount you got back. So if you put $10 in and got back 15, you gained $5. Divide the gain by what you initially paid. For example, $5 gain divided by the $10 you originally paid. Then you multiply that by 100 to get the percentage. So in this case, $5 divided by $10 equals 0.5. And when you multiply that by 100, it gives you 50%. That means you got a return of investment of 50%. So how was that, boys and girls? Now, let's have a look at what Grumpy Granny's sale for today is. Okay, here we are. So the sale I wanted to show you, and these are all the, all the sales that I'm showing you, they'll all be within the week that I show them to you. So they're all recent sales. So this one I thought I'd show you because this has been my very best return on investment for the week. So we have a set of Sookie Stackhouse True Blood um, True Blood books by Charlene Harris. Now, this is a complete set of 13 books, and that's a vampire series, in case you didn't know. Now, I got these books uh, in a huge big haul of several hundred books, and the price of those books averaged worked out to be 22 cents. Some of the books were free. Some of the books like these I paid a little bit for. Some of the books I paid a little bit more for, depending on the book. Essentially, there were a lot more free books than there were ones that I had to pay for, so that brought the cost right down. In essence, I paid $0.22 cents a book for these, which actually worked out to be... Here's my note. Oh, got to have my note. Which actually worked out to be $2.86. So the person... I sent the person an offer of $47.96 which they accepted, and then they had to pay postage for a large size Australia Post thing because that was a very large bundle of books of $16.65, which came to $64.61. Now, again, this was an organic sale. So what that means is someone had searched on Google, my listing in eBay came up in that, and they then clicked on that. And so there are no ad fees in this sale. It's just the transaction fee, which was $5.68. And I'll show you while I'm giving you the final figures on this and telling you what the return on investment is, I will actually show you what the books look like in a bit better detail so that you can see them. So here we have the books here and you'll see that some of them were in very, very good condition and some of them were in not so good condition. They worked out quite well. I had them listed originally for $59.95, but I sent out an offer. They accepted it. Now, my cost of goods, as I said, was $2.86. My The postage I paid, including the packaging, was $15.67. And so I made a profit of $40.43, which was a return of it on investment of 167%. Pretty damn good, I say. So I think that's a pretty good return on investment, don't you? All right, boys and girls, that was my little nugget for today. I will see you tomorrow. Bye now.
Welcome back. I think we're in episode four now, Grumpy Granny. We are. Isn't that amazing? I think I can put up with you, but <laughs> here we are. Here we are indeed. I'm just an AI creation. Little do people know this is completely AI generated. The AI is quite impressive. Yeah, they've made a good looking <laughs> octopus and a not so good looking grandma. Oh, that's enough of that. What, pray tell, in the world is that on your head? Well, a lot of old people, believe it or not, think that AI, AI, AI is going to overtake the world and read your minds. Where my tin for Hat. Fashionable in octopus circuses. Um, circuses. Right. <laughs> Circle. So what we're going to talk about today is generative AI. Generative so what AI. we're going to talk about today is generative AI. Generative AI. Generative AI. Generative AI.